Hello everyone. Now let us discuss the question. The graph of function can be expressed in the form y equal to a x divided by x square minus b x minus c. Here we have to determine the value of a, b, and c. So you can see graph which is on the right hand side. Okay. Now how we solve this problem? So here. First of all, you have to see for asymptotes. Now, vertical asymptote. Can you find vertical asymptote? You can find one vertical line over here. See this this vertical line. Uh, this here here we have one vertical line. Now, what is this? This is at x is equals to minus two. So, x is equals to minus two is one asymptote. And similarly, if you observe, uh, you will get another asymptote here. At x is equals to somewhere five, so here what I observe that x is equals to minus two, and x is equals to five are the asymptotes. Now, as these are the asymptotes, x plus two and x minus five is going to be the factor in the denominator. So, x plus two and x minus five are the factors in the denominator. Now, my numerator, numerator is x and denominator I write them in factor form because here we have quadratic x square, so I write them in Factor form and then I simplify. After simplification, I got x square minus 3x minus 10. Now minus 3x minus 10 minus 3x minus 10. What it indicate that b is 3 and c is 10. So I got the value of b and c. Okay, I got the value of b and c. Next, I want to find value of a. Now to get the value of a, I will uh, I will identify one point on this particular graph. Suppose this point. Okay, now this point its coordinate is 2 comma minus 2. Okay, I believe it is minus two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, it is two comma minus one. Oh ho, so two comma minus one. Here it is minus one. Okay, this value is minus one. Okay, I made a mistake. This value is minus one. So this minus one will be equal to what I will do. I will replace x with two. So I will replace x with two and y with minus one. So as I replace y with minus one. Here I get twelve, so this is twelve. Twelve is equals to two a, and a will become six. So a is equals to six. A is equals to six. If uh, I consider that two comma minus two is a point, and uh, yes, that is a point on the graph. Okay, so two comma minus one is a point on the graph. Therefore, a is equals to six, and uh, we have to find a b c. So I will say that a is equals to six. B is equals to three, and C is equals to ten. Okay, so this is how we can uh, evaluate the coordinates A, B, and C. Okay, one more problem I would like to discuss over here. Okay, this is the problem. The graph of the function can be expressed in the form y equal to x square minus b x minus c upon x square minus d x plus c. We have to find out what is b, c, d, and e. Okay. Now for this graph, for this graph, uh, again I will find what is vertical asymptote. Now you can see that vertical asymptote is at x is equals to one. Okay, so x minus one is going to be a factor in the denominator. So x minus one is a factor in denominator. Uh, next, uh, um, here I can find out there is a point of discontinuity six comma two. So six comma two is a point of discontinuity. Now, as six comma two is a point of discontinuity, it indicates that x minus six is going to be a factor in numerator as well as denominator. So x minus six is a factor in numerator and denominator. So what I done, I express y as x minus six into x minus f. Why I am saying f because this is a quadratic function, and I don't know the other factor. So I consider that other factor is x minus f. And why x only? Because uh, here the function is x square. So in both the factors, I have the coefficient of x as one. So here it is x minus six. So here it will be x minus f. And denominator, we have got what we have got. Uh, one factor was x minus one, and other factor was x minus six. So this is what my expression is. Now here there is only one unknown, which is f. If I know this f, then I can. Find numerator and denominator in quadratic form. So f is unknown. Now how I will get f? So for that, uh, first uh, I have cancelled this x minus six from numerator and denominator, and I get 
y is equals to x minus f upon x minus 1 okay uh, now uh, i will locate another point on this graph so here in this graph if uh, you see um, there is a point yes here uh, on the left hand side you can find that there is a point minus 4 minus 4 comma 0 okay minus 4 comma 0 is a point on this graph so i say that minus 4 comma 0 is a point on the graph so i will take y as 0 and uh, x is minus 4 and i simplify and find the value of f so here i got value of f as minus 4 so x minus minus 4 will become x plus 4 so my finally uh, the function y will become x minus 6 into x plus 4 divided by x minus 6 into x minus 1 and i will uh, open the bracket in numerator and denominator and i got these two quadratic functions one in numerator i got x square minus 2x minus 24 and in denominator i got x square minus 7x plus 6 now if i compare this with y is equals to x square minus bx minus c upon x square minus dx plus e uh, then uh, by comparing i get the value of b as 2 the value of c as 24 the value of d as uh, minus 7 and uh, no no d is 7 and finally e as 6 so b is 2 c is 24 d is 7 and e is 6 so this is your solution so here um, we try to find out the unknown coefficients like a b c d e okay when the graph is given to us okay so i hope you understand i will see you in the next class with some different question thank you